Hi guys and welcome to another video and today we'll be making a sort of replacement for the UNEP but slightly more premium so it will be something in between the UNE and the Dukes uh, now the Dukes was a total flop and uh, it uh, disappeared in the first first or first and a half year of its selling uh, so that was very not good and very not worth it uh, but so we'll make something in between it you know it's it is a family car but it will be more luxurious and premium than the uh, and stuff so uh, I think we're gonna use steel panels and the uh, normal monocoque steel monocoque and I think we're gonna, gonna do, go do uh, front transfers because we wanna be a bit uh, ad advanced. Uh, and McPherson struts front and rear, do we? No, we can't do that, so we'll do semi trailing arm. Uh, I think we'll still use this engine. But maybe we will facelift it, but let's just put the, this engine in for now. Uh, I think we will still uh, sell the Uno uh, if the game can stop being blurry. Why is it blurry? Hello, game. Yeah, uh, but uh, I think we'll keep the Uno on for a bit uh, and sell it a bit cheaper, uh, and we can sell this as a more affordable model. Sort of what uh, Vol Vol. Uh, Volvo did in the 80s with the 240 and 740 and stuff. Uh, I'm not sure what the game is doing here, uh, but I will pause and try to fix it. So I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, I relaunched the game and it fixed itself. So we'll of course go for transfers front wheel drive as that's the only thing we can do. And the four speed uh, manual. Uh, open differentials. Uh, I do we go for no? Uh, we go for cross plays, but the more even more premium version may have radials. So let's do for go for a hard. Uh, let's go. F uh, let's do medium compound for now, and the drum drum two less in the front, and single whatever that is. Uh, I'm guessing a single. Uh, so no convertible and standard interior on this one. Or did we do that on the uh, as well? Let's maybe go for pre. Let's go for premium interior and standard AM radio and manual. Uh, manual recirculating ball and maybe you can do hydraulic ball. Uh, on the more premium version It is kinda big uh, So I'm not sure if it will be underpowered It doesn't seem like it but, uh, Why is it so uh, Tight here I feel like there is a lot more space that c could be used uh, But uh, there's no not uh, ask why automation is goofy because it will be like that. Uh, so let's look here, dampers, the usual stuff. But let's actually uh, replace this. Uh, so I will go ahead and do that, and I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes when we will hear the engine. So let's hear the engines. Uh, this is the the blues. Uh, so the sort of premium engine. It is very quiet, but I think you can hear it. Uh, you know, it's nothing special. It's just a normal straight four. 
uh, with uh, normal uh, carb and stuff uh, so it won't sound amazing but let's go ahead and uh, have a listen to the uh, the super I think I called it so let's go ahead and hear the super now I'm warning this will be qu quite a lot louder It uh, uh, makes a lot more sound, but that's uh, fitting off a more sporty car. Uh, I'd really like it. You know, it got 84.3 horsepower, which is quite a lot for for uh, the early 60s in uh, the car that we'll put it in. Uh, I think at least. You know, there were a lot more powerful cars. Uh, uh, and the quarter would definitely benefit for a more uh, for a stronger engine uh, I think we'll make a V6 or V8 sometime uh, but I'm not sure it will be a good idea to do that now so for now we'll just uh, keep this old engine so we'll put in the, the minus oh wait not that one uh, let's put in the Moines, I think yeah, the Moines replacement. Uh, we, I think we'll see if we can put in the stray sixes in uh, the next pickup we do, because I don't think there is any car that you are using them right now, and they won't fit in this one. Uh, but I will go ahead and design this car, and I will be back with you guys shortly. Or even shorter if you uh, just want to skip the time lapse and skip to the time on screen. So here we have the 2000 I decided to call it, so that is the Dufour 2000 and this is the grandiose, uh, it has the, the plus engine 
uh, it, uh, so it has about 70 horsepower, uh, which is just over a ton uh, metric, uh, and it has this very nice vi vinyl roof that in actually increases its popularity by 500%. Uh, don't ask why it says 2004 on the back. Uh, definitely not because it has four doors, uh, but I think it also has disc brakes front and rear, uh, and a premium interior. So that's very good. Uh, it also has uh, it also has uh, medium compound radial tires, which is a first for us. Uh, so that's very good. I think it also has a three speed automatic. Yes. Uh, so that's pretty good. I think people really liked it. So let's go ahead and get this car into production. So getting the 2000 into production, we are going to... Uh, I'm not sure, we don't want to have to wait... Uh, is it four and a, no, five and a half years? That's not great. So we will not do that. I think uh, maybe four, about four years will be okay. If we can get it down to that. If, uh, otherwise we'll have to do five years. I think, it, yes, that should be five years. Uh, so let's get it down to five years. Wait, hold up. So if I can do math, I think we should get it down to about 60 months. Which we should definitely be able to do. Yeah, we're, we're basically already done it, so we're gonna learn a bit too, and so, but we can make the, f the funding a bit faster. Maybe if we do this, so we get it down to 60 months, no, 59.9, which is not a nice number, so I don't want that. I'm not sure why it got to be a nice number. Uh, so it looks like we won't get a nice number, so we have to do with 60.1. I mean, it should, it should still be fine, but we can do a bit of this, a bit of that, maybe a bit of that, a bit of this, and there we go, that sh that's okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and edit these engines, and yeah, yeah, it should be good, uh, and let's... Oh right, this is the Mark II. Uh, uh, no car is using six cylinders, so let's put it into that for now. And then we can put the six cylinder facelift into this fa factory. Uh, so, how do we do this? 37 months. We don't need to do 37 months, we can do even more months. So, we don't need to worry about that. Let's optimize the process a bit and make it a bit more reliable uh, and a bit cheaper funding maybe and wanna mostly work. So let's get uh, four years to... No, let's do about three years uh, which should be 36 months. Let's actually keep down a bit. Or we do three and a half years, which should be 42 months. Uh, we could probably get 36 months a bit. Uh, or pretty easy. Wait, we're already surpassed it. Where is 36? There we go. I saw it. I saw it. Uh, there we go. 36 months. That should be good. And we got the e edit the factory config. Does this use a forge? Yes, it. Uh, does it use forge forge crank? Yes, it requires iron foundry forge works. Iron foundry we have, but we need forge works, which now is still good to have, and we need it. So how overworked are the factories? I think they're gonna be overworked. So let's upgrade the factory to uh, medium free, and we should be good. So let's uh, item selection, 
Uh, let's up the work. Now let's put them down a bit. And let's not change worker quality. Uh, so let's put automation. Do we put automation up or down? Now I think we keep it at that, and that's probably good. So let's go ahead and sign this engine off. And no, sign the car off. I'm stupid. Uh, so what factory do we use? Uh, let's do a large one. Me there we go, medium free. I think that should be good. There we go. Uh, the f Wait. Do we have... Yeah, we have to select those. And the engine factories are not overworked at all. So that's great. And let's not up, up, up or upgrade the factory. Uh, I think this should be good. Yep, that's good. And this is probably also good. And 17,000 uh, uh, possible profit. That's extremely good. Uh, so let's have a look at how we can price this. That is very, very much cheaper than the average price. Uh, the average price is. I think it was about 14,000. But that, of course, says no. So maybe it isn't. Let's price this at. Nine, oh, 10,000. Let's put this one at 8,000. And I think we will be making pretty good profits. Yeah. So there we go. Let's try to pronounce this, uh, these very long words. Um, quotidien. Uh, quotidien. Quotidien. Obsidian. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, the grandiose, grandiose, the gra grandi, the grandiose, grandiose, and uh, and the uh, qualify. I think I got that one right, but I uh, I just do some Google Translate. Let me tell what, how you pronounce those. I have no idea. Uh, so let's sign off the car and get it into BMG. Oh yeah, we did also update the porter. A bit, so let's have a look at that. So here we have the premium version uh, of the updated porter, which I'm not gonna try to pronounce this time. Uh, and I think it looks quite good. It looks, of course, very similar, but I think it looks a bit more new, uh, mainly due to the fact that we have the silver grill, but also the small, the smaller chrome line around the headlights. Uh, I've of course also changed the bumpers, but the big thing that we change, except for the seats and the uh, wing mirrors, is the engine. This engine does now use no, this car does now use the straight six engine. Uh, so hopefully it will get, or I mean, it will d d make a bit more horsepower, but hopefully it will also be a bit more popular. So let's go ahead and get this into production but I will not show that uh, and we will go into BMNG so here we are in BMNG so let's go ahead and get this going uh, we got quite a good interior cam although the interior didn't export that well so let's just join very well here and I think we're going straight ahead. So let's... This... Oh, oops. Rest in peace. Our gearbox. But let's... Try to drive... It is very, very, very slow. Way too slow. I don't know. I'm not... Oh yeah, it's probably because we're using the straight 4 in a pretty big car. Uh, so that's not great, of course, but let's... It drives quite well. Uh, although I can't really test it on the limit because it is just so slow. There we go. A bit of oversteer. And then you can handle it if you just keep the throttle pinned. It 
goes quite well. Uh, but let's turn over to the side of the road somewhere here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, gravel road. That should be good. So let's uh, drive by the side of the road here and change into the premium model. So here we have the premium version that I can't pronounce the name of. But let's get going. Hopefully this is a bit faster. Okay, it's an automatic, so let's put it into drive and cruise away. It is very soft. Uh, you feel almost nothing in steering because it's a hydraulic ball steering. So basically like driving a wheel with uh, no force feedback you can't feel anything but let's uh, get up to highway speeds and drive a bit which we don't want to go there Can we even get over a hundred kilometers an hour? Yeah, there we go. But that was actually kinda hard. So that's not great. Uh, let's find somewhere to turn around and we can pull over at the gas station. you can do a U-turn here. Oops, I can't do one. Uh, but if you could drive you could probably do a U-turn here. It should be allowed, it always looked like it. But I'm not too sure on the west coast traffic laws. But in, if it was in if it was in Europe, you would see people do U-turns there. I think. Let's just pull over here and down here, and let's park it here on the gravel. And change into the sport model because yes, I did do a sport model. That's the fourth sport model for this company, I think. Except for, of course, the whole quarter platform. So here we have a couple first for our company. The first being that this is the first sportier trim for the uh, sporty variant of a car that we made, and the second being that this is the first two-door sedan we made. If I'm not wrong. So let's get going. And I hope this, even though it is front wheel drive, will do very well on this mountain road. Let's just change it to a more appropriate camera. I uh, know you can't really see the car, but hopefully my horrible driving is enough. It is still very slow, I'm having a hundred percent of the throttle right now, and it is not fast. I think even for 50s cars, or 60s cars, that will, will be when this comes out, this is pretty darn slow. But hopefully it makes up for it in handling. So far I will say so. It drives quite well, this variant. Uh, using the... Does it use the sport radials? I'm not sure, but it at least have radials. It's better than most of our cars. Let's not crash it. Let's go a bit of off-road. Good thing there was, wasn't a large rock or something there. Go down here. I thought this road was longer 
but apparently not because it, I think it's, it's it ends down there. That's way too early. But let's turn around here and try out the rallying capabilities of this car. Oops, I know this road, definitely. Yes, very good. Installed it. There we go. Don't stall, don't stall. There we go. Yeah, we definitely would have needed to use the handbrake there. So let's not fuck up this corner. Wait, hold up. I shouldn't say that. I'll bleep it out. Apologies. Especially to the YouTube algorithm. Uh, so let's get this down here and let's turn around and get to the top as fast as possible. Here we are doing a hilly climb. The brakes locks, locks up very easily. And our gearbox brakes, uh, not in the type that the brake will do, but the type that a uh, Nissan Leaf would do. Nissan, however you say it in English. So let's turn over here, get through the chicane, very good, and get to this dirt road. Handbrake turn. in the correct gear. That was definitely the best corner ever. This is your average Nissan Fulvia Rally experience, except the Nissan Fulvia is better in mostly any way for this. I don't think we'll make it to the top. I have a slight in. God damn it. Can my wheel just shut up? I would say we su we survived that, uh, as long as you're not the rear passengers, that's good. But I also think this is a pretty good place to end the video. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it, I really did making it. And I hope I'll see you next time. Anyways, until then, bye!